Jared Poland froknows photo.com and it is time for the top five from November 26th and 27th and it is brought to you by Adorama Picks. They're the ones who give us the free photo books to give to the winners of the top five as well as somebody from Facebook who leaves a comment below. But before we get started, I want to remind you guys that this Sunday, December 4th at noon, noon Eastern Standard Time for everybody around the world, that's New York time, you can join us live on Spreecast, Adam and I will be taking your photo-related questions, but better than anything else, you can actually join us on camera. If you've got video and audio, we can invite you in to talk to us right inside the Spreecast. So be sure to click this RSVP banner over here. It will take you to Spreecast. All you have to do, you can sign in using your Facebook Connect or Twitter Connect, and you're ready to go right from there, and we'll be there from 12 noon, not sure how long, at least an hour. We're going to keep going and have fun with that. So let's get into the top five, but first let's go to last week's top five, and the winner with 47% of the votes was Two Air. It was uh, Chucky here killing Kermit the Frog. Good night, Kermit the Frog. So congratulations to Air. You have, you've already been emailed, actually. I sent the email in to Adorama Picks. You will be notified by them, showing you or telling you how to get your 8x10 book. And somebody from Facebook who commented below will also be getting a free Adorama Picks book. So let's dive right into it. The theme was food. Uh, we did food because, well, we had Thanksgiving in the United States and around the world. Food is something that everybody could photograph. So let's go right now. The first photo, John does not know photo. John seems to be in the top something every so often. The reason I picked this photo is because it is not easy at all to photograph a white plate on a white background. This is something that takes a lot of work. We used to do this in school. We had to photograph an egg, an egg, 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 whatever you say. You had to put it down. We had to do it with a 4 by 5 better yet, which was not much fun. But you had to be able to not lose the detail or, or whatnot in the egg. You didn't want it to just blend into the background. So you had to get your lighting right. What I like about this is it's simple, it's plain, and it just has one touch of color right in the middle. So I really, really like that. Nice job. Uh, we'll get into the new theme for next week also in a couple seconds after I'm done this. We've got Eco Tango. Eco Tango had a bunch of pictures out there, and I thought this was the best. Um, this could be an HDR-type photo, but I really am digging what is going on here with the black and white. First, I love images straight up. The way that the trees are set up, you've got these two here, you've got this one here. It's almost symmetrical. It's almost even left to right, top to bottom, front to back, up and down, inside and out. Um, but I think the processing is incredible. I think the exposure is right on. So this is a really, really cool photograph captured right here. And I'll reiterate to everybody, some people that question this week in and week out, that you do not have to take a photo of the theme in order to be in the top five. The theme is just a recommendation for people who may not know what to photograph. So this is just... Um, it, it's just a theme. You can photograph anything you want as long as it's in the time period specified because the whole point of this is just to get out and shoot and have fun and learn and try new things. Um, so that is it. And if you have trouble uploading your photos, there's the easiest way to do it is through the Flickr link. If you upload right to Flickr, you can grab that BCC code or that BBC code, whatever it is, and go right from there. So like this photo, Eco Tango. Um, OM OMG Deck, we put this in here because he's playing with the flash. There were two photos. There was a nice portrait that he took, but I chose this one. I like the evenness. We've got the window here, the window here. We've got the color here. He created this by using his SB900 flash. This is really good. I like the color. I like the pose. It's a great start to an environmental portrait of this gentleman uh, because there was another portrait that he did. And, you know, something like this is a great way to represent what this person does. This would be a great lead off to a photo story. Now, this, what you want to be careful about, if I'm just going to give it a quick critique, is that if this was for a magazine, if this was for a magazine, it probably wouldn't be used because the image, the gutter would go right through the middle of the image, making it harder to use as a two-page spread. But it could still work as a two-page spread with just a little bit of information down here or down here. So it could work. I do like this photo. Then we've got Brian Tech. This is New York City, or I think it's, it's Gotham City. It's Batman here. I'm Batman. 
trying to take over the world. I'm going to save everybody. Nobody likes Batman anymore. Batman's going to be sent away. Batman. <gasps> Batman. Na, 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 na. Batman. Anyway, I like Batman. This gives me a very Gotham City feel. Gotham needs another hero. Batman can't do it anymore. So two-faced. Anyway, I like Batman. It's just he's weird. He talks like this in the whole movie. Uh, who's gonna stop crime if I'm not here anymore? Anyway, Gotham City, this is a cool shot. I like how it's dark. It gives you that feel like the dark is coming, like, uh, like the Joker or the question guy is coming. The Riddler, whatever he's called. But I really like this. I like the soft color. I like that it's hazy. I just like that you've got all of these buildings front to back, all the way down to here, and you've got this row of clouds back here. You can even see some of the bridges all the way down to here. This is su superb. I really, really, really like this shot. I think the processing adds to it. The vision of the photographer goes gets across very, very well. So I really, really like this image up here. Then we've got this Canon point-and-shoot camera. I like the verticalness of it. I like the bokeh blown out in the background. For those around the world, bokeh. Don't go leaving me comments that I say it wrong because it is what it is. Some say bokeh, some say bokeh. There's no right or wrong way to say it. We just say it. Um, I like this shot. I like the fact that it's focused in on the Canon camera right there, and I like how it's done vertical instead of horizontal, and I like that this bokeh is right here with its uh, with the twinkle twinkles. They also tried it with a monster can, but I thought this one was much better. So these are your top five for this weekend, or from the weekend from food. Use the person's name that you like, because these are in no particular order, to give your vote for this top five. So somebody can win an Adorama Picks rapid fire uh, so somebody can win an Adorama Picks photo book. Leave a comment in the Facebook box so that you could get a chance to win a book yourself. And don't forget, this, uh, this actually ends, I set this end to Thursday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So you have to vote before then. The voting will turn off at that point. So the new theme, which is coming from Adam Lerner, so maybe we'll get him to pick the top five next week, is eyes. Now, I don't literally mean just focus in on the eyes and give me macro shots of the eyes. I want photos that are focused, that, that eyes are the prevalent part of. So if it's a portrait, it's a really nice portrait where the eyes pop. Or if it's a, a, a picture of a, a dog, the eyes pop. Or a picture of a, a stuffed animal, that the eyes pop. Or, you know, eyes could be anything that they're leading your eyes somewhere. Where are the eyes looking? Where's the person looking? The eyes are, the eyes are showing you where to look into the frame. So... There's all different things you can do for the theme eyes, and that's for the weekend of November 3rd and 4th. You can start shooting Friday. It goes Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You can shoot up until Tuesday, which at that point, you can no longer post those images, and, on, and you have, oh no, you can no longer take the images after Tuesday, but you can post them up till Thursday evening when the, when the uh, section closes. So eyes, it seems like a very interesting category because there's a lot of eyes around us, so be sure to have fun with that. Like we always say, have fun with that. But yeah, eyes, they could be everywhere. They could be looking at you. So just, just think about it. Come up with a different concept, not just eyes, you know, not just eyes, but come up with some different ways of, of thinking about things could be watching you, big brothers watching you. Anything that pertains to seeing, looking, or eyes would be very interesting. So that is it. Enjoy that. Be sure to up, upload those to the forum. And that's it. Please vote. Have fun. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya!